Nicola Sturgeon displayed all her emotions at her final First Minister's Questions outing, amid claims she founded the NHS, and begged opposition MSPs not to talk about the SNP membership crisis. As members of the Scottish Parliament arrived for Nicola Sturgeon's last bow as First Minister, some SNP representatives were spotted bringing in boxes of tissues to deal with the expected high emotions of the occasion. But as the tissues were passed around the loyal backbenchers, Tory MSP Sandish Gulhane only mourned the fact he wasn't allowed to take photographic evidence of the gushing scene. Unfortunately for Mrs Sturgeon, her opponents weren't prepared to give her an easy ride on her final Holyrood outing. Douglas Ross, the leader of the Scottish Conservatives, delivered his first left hook as he opened the question session. Mr Ross focused in on the recent SNP membership scandal in which both Mrs Sturgeon's husband and the party's chief press officer were forced to resign after it emerged the public had been misled over the party's membership figures. He asked, why did Nicola Sturgeon's party, the party of government in this parliament, lie to the press and the public? Mrs Sturgeon forced a smile as convincing as the SNP's initial denials that they'd lost 30,000 members, loftily telling the room, I've got nothing to add to what I've already said. It immediately became apparent she in fact had an awful lot to add to what she's already said. She continued, the SNP remains the only mass membership party in this country. Applause, we have by far more members than any other party represented in this chamber. Mrs Sturgeon demanded that before asking any more questions, Mr Ross clarified the number of Scottish Tory members. SNP MSPs enjoyed this jibe so much that they refused to stop clapping until the presiding officer intervened, possibly in the hope they could continue applauding for the remaining 55 minutes of the session and save their outgoing leader the headache of having to face any more questions.